about the ceiling. It doesn't have to be white. So Sharon's back now with lots of ideas to deal with the fifth wall. We talk about the fifth wall, um, but we haven't really shown all the options there are out there and, and yeah. brought things live into studio where you can actually see great. the effect. Yeah, you can actually see it. So we've got our own little segment of a ceiling. Yeah. So, and it's great to see them in spaces, but I've been really noticing a lot of statement ceilings in all the magazines and online. People are looking up. Yes. <laughs> so, so I wanted to talk about all the different things from, from just simple paint color to wallpaper and pattern to tile to wood. Lots mm -hmm. of different things you can do here. So. I, in this case, have a lovely Georgetown pink beige. It's flattering. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. Very subtle, soft. For the ceiling, a nice white ceiling, great Chantilly lace. But by putting the wood, the pine on the ceiling and painting it, mm -hmm. you get a little bit more texture. You get some dimension. You get some warmth with right. the wood, right? Absolutely. So this is it in live. Uh, we also this have some pictures live. of how it can look. Um, in situ. So yeah. this room, I, I love this look. Isn't it um, so pretty? And it's just really pretty and really subtle. Really subtle. A nice little recessed area. Great for a bedroom. But it still feels modern. Like when you think yes. of painted wood, you often think it's very, you know, cottagey. But then there's another example where it is just natural love wood. That. Isn't that pretty? And again, with everything else being painted out in yeah. the space, it adds that warmth that you really want. So great. Those are bedrooms, but you could do that in the kitchen. You could really do that yes. in any room. You totally could. So I always talk about painting yes. color on ceiling right Tracy yes. we do it all the time so let's turn this one around and see one of my favorite colors for painted ceilings if anybody ever asks me is blue but here this is so ooh, nice here I added a bit of gloss yeah I see the shine gloss. this is called forget me not so don't forget <laughs> <laughs> and with that high gloss advanced paint you really it almost feels like you could jump into that pool you know like right. it's very very pretty and you can see how it kind of envelops the space and that's the nice thing about color on the ceiling because you don't stare at it all the time but that's it kind true. of gives a bit of a blue hue so I did use titanium on the wall here but you can see how that ceiling color is going to impact the space so you do want to think about the the color options yes. how it's going to feel now we don't often do the high gloss in, when we've got the young kids and stuff because yeah. they're going to touch the wall. <laughs> That's never going to be the problem with your ceiling. Absolutely. So what a great place to have some great fun and go high it. gloss. We've got another uh, picture yeah, to show you gloss. how it can look with high gloss um, on the ceiling. It's no, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And the wall color is the same, but it's an eggshell, this deep ocean. Mm. So again, again, that one truly envelops the entire space. But again, yeah. that lovely bit of ceiling gloss. Yeah. But bathrooms are a great place to do it. And I have another shot from a really simple bathroom with Buxton blue on the ceiling. So again, oh, it, nice. it's like the sky in that little yeah. space. It feels like there's just no, there's no ceiling. It doesn't so. end. Right. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So the next wall we're going to talk about right now is we're going to talk about pattern. Pattern. So think about doing pattern on the ceiling. This to me is the most unexpected. Right. <laughs> uh, you, you don't expect to look up and see this. It's beautiful. It's subtle, but it's very, it's very unique. Because if it's on your wall, you are looking at it a yeah. lot. You're going to put artwork. It's going to, it might feel a little bit too overwhelming, but right. painting on the ceiling, it's a big job, but even a perimeter might be a great idea or if it's in a yeah. kids room babies are laying down in their little oh, cribs they they're looking that. up so make it more interesting for them yes. so again I envision this as being a kids room and I used head over heels and Chantilly lace yeah. and then a little again a horizontal stripe on the wall with metallic silver so you've got kind of a fine nice. graphic room but it's subtle colors it is okay so we do we let's show a picture yeah, of how it can look, look when, it, when we've got pattern on the wall and this is I mean this is this pattern is awesome. on the wall this one we found on Instagram and it's just gorgeous it's Tile, tile going right up the wall. And again, they've used regular white subway tiles with this beautiful pattern. So again, you can be really creative yeah. when you start wrapping it up onto the wall, wrapping it onto the floor. So whether it's um, tile, um, painted finishes, yep. or let's take a look at the last one pattern with wallpaper. Okay. This is probably a little bit less expensive than putting tile. But look at how That's dramatic lovely. that is. That is so nice. So uh, look at that. It's above. I, I would not want to be the one that's installing this. Right. <laughs> Who, you can hire you someone hire to someone install this because yes. that is like I see my back hurts. Yes, Michelangelo. Right. <laughs> right? But that's so beautiful. But isn't that beautiful? Like it's such a great way to get a lot of color. And I think again, statement walls are one thing, but statement ceilings. I think you get a little bit more longevity with that maximalist style when yes. you're putting the pattern on the ceiling. It's yeah. not 
so much. But again, with something like this, you can put a nice subtle color. I could have done white, but I used lime sherbet. So it's, it's, nice. it's, it's, it's kind of fun. It's funky. Um, and again, breaking it up with a um, crown molding is also another great idea. And it can kind of hide if you're not the best wallpaper and you're doing it yourself. You can sort of hide some of Hide their sins. little mistakes. Okay, we also have a picture of using wallpaper on the ceiling. And this is lovely. It looks like it's a kitchen. No, it is a kitchen. Ooh, Look at that. Ooh, that it is stunning. It looks like something very dramatic and it feels sort of like a, like a modern abstract art piece it does. on the ceiling. Beautiful. It so almost looked like forget. it was tile or something. Like that is very cool. Gorgeous. So Sharon, of course, wants to help you with your own paint project. She's brought gift certificates for one gallon of Benjamin Moore paint for everyone in our audience. <laughs> 